There are a whole heap of different reasons why I personally chose property and why I invest in property. Now in today's video, I'm gonna talk about eight of the major reasons why I do and how investing in property has completely changed mine and my family's life. The very first reason I invest in property is for the choices. I've always wanted to spend more time with my family. I've wanted to be financially free earlier in my life. And I've wanted the choice to do meaningful work like I get to do every single day through videos like this. Now, for some people that achieve financial freedom, choices might look like traveling more. Might be for some people sitting on the beach or meditating for the rest of their lives. For others, it might be the chance to jump in a caravan or go traveling and exploring, might be the chance to train more. Or for people like myself, it might be simply, you have the ability to drop your kids at school, to take time off during school holidays and to take more time over Chrissy, um, to get home in the afternoons and spend that time and to be there for soccer and for those sports and events going on for the school carnivals. Um, for other people, you know, it's really, um, like myself in the past, like I just really didn't like the work that I was doing before I started my business. And so it can enable you to start businesses or retrain or move into a career that works for you and makes sense for you. So I think choices are fundamental and choices enable us effectively to become the best version of ourselves. Now, if you don't have to worry about money anymore and you can do what you want to do, Generally, you make better decisions towards a better version of yourself. And I think the more people that make those decisions, the better things can be. Now, the second reason I invest in property is to obviously replace my income. I hate the idea of being dependent on one income stream in the sense that if I choose to come to work because that's a choice, then that is a completely different thing versus coming to work and needing to be there just because of the income it's providing. So I think for me personally, when I originally started investing, I wanted to replace a hundred to $200,000 a year income stream. I still haven't done that yet, but I'm slowly working to paying off the debt to achieve that. And I think the replacement of income and the choices that gives you is a huge, huge, huge benefit to investing in property. Now, the third thing for me that's important really was to set up my family. Now, I grew up in a house where um, we had one income stream, mum was lucky enough to um, raise all of us kids, but up until I was in my teens, um, there wasn't a huge amount of money in my place. And what I decided as a very, very young kid is that I wanted a bit of a different choice and a different way for my kids to grow up. And I really wanna set my family up now. I've got three little kids at the moment, an eight, a six, and a three-year-old. And you know, already because of the investing I've done in the last 11 years, they're starting to get a better version of me, a different version of me. And most importantly, they're not seeing money as a negative thing or something that there's not enough of and there's not conflict in our home because of that like I grew up in. It's more a place where you know, they get to see mummy and daddy and they get to see us moving forward. And because of that, there'll be that confidence for them to do the same thing and to chase what they want in their life moving forward. The fourth reason I invest in property is, I actually think it's super fun. <laughs> I don't know why, but for me personally, I love touching it, feeling it. I like renovating it. I love building it. I love like those late night, looking at suburbs online, looking at realestate.com, finding that next market, that next suburb, that new piece of information that's gonna help me save some money or increase my rent return. I just enjoy the process. I don't understand any other asset class anywhere near as well as I understand property, but for me, it's real. Like it's something I can touch, it's something that I can feel. And that leads me on to my next point that traditionally longer term, it's been significantly less volatile than something like stocks or obviously crypto. You know, the thing about property that I absolutely love is that people physically need to live in it. We need shelter, we need a place to live. And I always know that not everybody in the world or not everybody in Australia 
is going to be able to figure out how to save a deposit and buy a place or maybe they don't want to own one. So there's always going to be people that can move into my investment properties that can rent them from me. And because of that, they can pay off my debt while my asset grows in value. And then once I own the place outright, not only is the asset growing in value, but I'm getting a passive income for it longer term as well. I think the sixth thing that attracted me to property and one of the things that I like most about it is that long term, it's had very, very consistent performance. Now, I read Mastering the Australian Housing Market by John Linderman years ago and he thought that over the last 100 years up to the time that he wrote the book, the average annual performance of Australian property had been almost 11 percent per annum. Now, when I went and looked at Homely and RP Data and Michael Matuzic's information on the Australian market, what I was able to find is that Sydney, Melbourne and Brisbane in particular had done over 9% per annum for the last 50 years straight. Now, there's not many assets in the world that are that stable with the volatility that have also increased in value at such a rapid rate for such a long and extended period of time. Now, I don't expect the market to do as well as it has, but I do expect that people are going to continue to want high quality lifestyle destinations and high quality locations around jobs and infrastructure in the cities. And that because Australia is at the moment just so empty and that the government has such a big plan of 60 million people living here within the next 50 years, that that need for property is going to be sustained that people are going to continue to want to live in these locations and that long term the performance is going to continue to be strong as well as having that cash flow component which I absolutely love as well. The two last things that I wanted to talk about um, you know point seven and point eight is you know sort of intertwined and very much together. Now one of the reasons I naturally moved towards property is I understood it. You don't have to be a mathematician or a data analyst and you don't have to be up in the middle of the night to be really figuring property out. You know, yes, there are some fundamentals like buying houses close to the city or the beach um, in good suburbs with good potential for long-term growth with good incomes and low vacancy rates, but it is certainly not rocket science investing in property and it is something that the average person like myself or yourself can slowly figure out over a number of years. You know, I think what draws me to property more than anything else is the fact that people need it and it is not just a speculative sentiment driven investment. Now, I do read a lot about a whole lot of other investment classes and I do follow a lot of the great investors and I've read a lot of their work. I follow all of their videos and podcasts when they're on them, but what I like about property more than anything else is that there is a physical need to stay in a space and there is a value associated around certain locations around the cities and major beaches of Australia and there is an ethos or a brand around quality markets that, um, you know, things like potentially some stocks as well as crypto no longer have. You know, a lot of that stuff is speculative and is sentiment driven and is dependent on how people are feeling where in the old days those asset classes might have been created around value these days they're just driven by the mums and dads and the punters that are in the markets plus the institutional investors manipulating those big markets where property works obviously on sentiment and the availability of credit but it also works on location benefits and the needs of individuals that want to stay there so I hope you've enjoyed some of the reasons why I invest in property. I absolutely love this asset class. I'm pumped on it. I'm super excited about the future of it in Australia in the right locations. I think there are incredible opportunities for first timers, for low income earners, as well as high income earners to take advantage of the market, particularly over the next four or five years in very particular parts of Australia, like Brisbane, like Perth, maybe like Adelaide. I think it's something that does go up and down in value over time and there can be volatility, but generally that's less and it takes longer for that volatility to hit the market. Um, I'm super, super grateful for this opportunity to explore it with you. Now, if like me, um, you love property and you're looking for someone to partner with to help you move into the market confidently, 
I would love the opportunity for you to jump over to our website, www.pumpedonproperty.com, book in a strategy session with myself or one of the guys in our team, and we can talk about where you are now, where you'd like to be longer term. We can educate you on the market and what's going on right now, and then you can take that and go and smash it on your own and use that information to get a great outcome, or maybe you can become one of the small number of people that we work with each month. But Either way, I'm super grateful and thank you so much for your time. Sweaty, so sweaty. Oh, that's good.